Hi, FitMTs. Uh, welcome back. We've got another video today about self-care tools. I recently put a blog post up on the FitMT.com blog, and we, it was talking about different self-care tools that maybe you could find one or two of them. Maybe you already have one laying around the office somewhere. Or a lot of these we can recommend to our clients as well. So these are self-care tools for us to use. You know those nagging pains that we get that often we can prevent from becoming an injury if we take care of them kind of at the beginning and when they're when they're that pain that kind of comes and goes and you don't think too much of it yet. If we can stay on top of our self-care, we just prolong the longevity of our career as a massage therapist. So um, I'm gonna go through some self-care tools. I've seemed to have accumulated a lot over the years and um, these are all things that we used in my clinic or things that I've used for myself in my own athletics or just things I've picked up along the way. Even a, a client told me about a couple of these. So let's start with some foam rollers. The foam rollers come in all different foam densities as well as shapes and sizes. Years and years ago, the first foam roller was this white foam and it's pretty squishy. This one is a good level one beginner. Um, if you find that foam rolling is really difficult for you because you don't like the feeling it all hurts too much no matter where you do it or I've recommended these to more of my senior clients um, this is a good beginner one this white phone you can still find on Amazon so I'll put some Amazon links in for you guys just to to be able to find some quick foam rollers if you don't already have one so a nice level one is the white one um, it really gives more when you lay on it I picked up these two from Power Systems, which is a company that I'm just a fan of for fitness equipment. And um, I believe that they had this black one. I don't know how long these are, four feet, something like that, um, as a higher, harder density foam. And then this blue one, I can just by feel, feel that this has a little more give to it. So maybe it's just kind of next level up like step twos. These shorter ones are really handy though and I have a black short one too that doesn't have all these bumps on it. So if you can see on this one it's got some bumps and this to me just creates a little more mild fascial release type feeling for us when we're kind of rolling along whatever muscle group it might be. So let's talk about just a couple ways. You guys probably know you could do a piriformis, you could do um, a hamstring. Let's just take this one here and come up and roll. So I'm not gonna demonstrate and go too much into all of the use of these, but rather just show these self-care tools on this video and get a good idea of, of maybe something that works for you. And then we'll link to the blog too so you can um, look at the blog talks a little more about where and when to use that type of thing. And you can always ask a question and I'll make a comment below and I'll, I'll answer. Um, okay, so those foam roller options are great. Let's look at tennis balls because they're really easy, usually lying around the house. Oh, they're easy at Target, Walmart, anywhere that you might be out and about, you can pick up a tennis ball. So um, I like to use, I have these two <laughs> tied in a sock. And this is just an old sock I think I had at some point laying around. And um, by the time you put your two tennis balls to the end of the sock, you can tie your knot and that'll keep them together, which makes a really nice groove for the spine. And then this one I like for anything along your spine. So obviously the spine is gonna go in where the two tennis balls have space in between the two balls. That works really nice for suboccipital release. You can kind of put it where you might be a little bit tender, need some help working that area out. And I'll... All right, so besides tennis balls, there are plenty of things on the market that are actually something like this. Don't remember where I got it. A set of two balls, they're called massage therapy balls. And these, come in a little sack that I suppose you could use just like the, the sock idea that we were just tying. And then these are a little bit larger than a tennis ball. This is a lacrosse ball. Some people like these because much firmer, a more firm surface to roll with. Uh, these, these give, these are definitely more rubbery than a 
lacrosse ball. So lots of ideas and options for your tennis ball. So we've done foam rollers, tennis balls, um, cross ball is an option. I've heard people grab racket balls. I've even heard people go to the fruit bowl and grab an orange or something. I guess in a pinch that works. All right, in sticking with talking about balls, this is the one that a client recommended. And I, I love this thing because I, um, as a triathlete, had a lot of hip flexor tightness mainly from cycling and the tennis ball couldn't get hip flexor any help for me because it's so small. So this is called the orb. I come down on the orb. And I need to usually have one leg bent. If you can see my left leg's bent out here. But um, so this would be hitting my right hip flexor. I do leave my right leg outstretched behind me. Okay, so I'm gonna place the ball under my hip flexor and come down forward onto my elbows. Try to breathe in. Right. In the blog post, we did cover roller sticks, and this one I found after researching a few of them. This came to be our favorite at the clinic because. Men with leg hair, a lot of the other ones that have a segmented all plastic pieces across the center of the roller, it would catch on leg hair and not be comfortable for them. So this is called the tiger tail and it's one of the shorter tiger tail sticks. I think this comes in three sizes, but um, for your own self care, I like rolling. So you've got tibialis anterior, you can do gastroc of course, you can do anything good for runners, but us, long day, massaging to quadriceps, hamstrings. Okay, so you've got the tiger tail as an option. Another thing I feel like sometimes for us as massage therapists, we become pretty rounded because all of our work is in front of us. We're usually looking down at what we're doing. So we've got this forward rounded shoulder posture. So one option for us to have for a long day at work would be a thoracic opening, just laying <clears throat> on a foam roller. I'm gonna show you that and then we're gonna show you with the yoga block. So with the foam roll, we can come down. I do like to rest my head on it, but then arms out to the side. So tailbone, whole back supported, your head supported on the foam roll arms out kind of like a T shape and that my arms today feel better right there. So anything that you've got for a thoracic opening there. Um, the yoga blocks also an option. I usually will use it instead of this tall way, use it on the short side and you can do So this one, because my head doesn't have a support, is quite a bit more intense, kind of a level two. But it also raises me up higher than the foam roll did, so I can open through my chest better. I feel kind of more of a stretch there. The next self-care tool is the Theracane. And if you have one of these, I'm sure you're as much a fan of it as I am because this is trigger point set up. So I really appreciate it for where, um, as a massage therapist, I tend to get along my scapulas, <clears throat> especially superior angles, medial borders, things that you know we can't quite reach on ourselves. The Theracane is the perfect shape to ergonomically not strain us at all because I can kind of with leverage pull down on these two handles as give myself as much pressure as I need on a particular point on my back that's pretty tender. So it would just be, if you do trigger point or neuromuscular therapy work with your clients, same type of thing. But um, to do it for ourselves, sometimes I'll friction a tiny bit with, with this end, it's a nice rounded knob. Not very big, but definitely specific enough that we can get some good trigger point release. So this is my favorite way to use it. Although it's created to be used on legs, low back, I mean, they have all kinds of different 
options because of how these are spaced far apart. And then we've used these on the pair of spinals before, so the spacing here, and then obviously it looks like a cane. So sitting in the living room, it's definitely a conversation piece <laughs> if you have it at home. Um, so that's the Theracane. I think that takes care of everything I wanted to cover today for self-care tools. And I hope you found some value in it and maybe an idea or two to keep your own body pain-free and work as long as you want in this career. See you next time.